have is roof. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. My boat. This one that I wrote about when I was broke. They hooking me up, yeah. Come a little closer, baby. I feel like laying you. kind of wiring up my stereo it's not that bad if you look at the colors they match and I'm guessing that's kind of standard for this day and age all harnesses kind of are the same colors so your red go to red your blues go to blue your um, green with black stripe goes with green with black stripe so no confusion there the neatest thing though if you look here, the little manufacturer guys, shout out to these homies. I don't even know who they are. They pre-stripped them. So you just pop them off. Done. No biting wires. It's beautiful. This is what I took out. <laughs> this is what I'm putting out. sketches of the van. Got all these measurements, stuff, um, possible build. Um, so we have van, right? Beautiful. The yeah, accident. The way the circuit works is all positives need to go to a negative and all the negatives go to a negative. So my power source is gonna be sitting right here behind the driver's seat, a little goal zero. Yeti. This is what it looks like. And then we've got regular car inverter, USBs for phones, and then regular house 110 alternating. Now, we take this and we take one wire and we set it to a switch. For instance, right? So there's our switch, open and close. Then that feeds up through the sidewall, comes across, it's here in the middle and we have light one. This is LED number one of four. Then this comes all the way back here and we have room for one more light or one more gadget or whatever we want, but it's gonna be on the same thing as these um, LEDs. A little $4 dimmer so that when the light switch is on, I can crank this up and we can set the lights to go up or down in brightness, obviously. It'd be cool if they could come down out of the ceiling, but I'm not that great of an electrical engineer. LED strips, that's right. So I have another wire that comes out over here. We have another switch. And then this guy comes up, goes to the same place. It's going to connect right here for an LED strip. And then it goes back across the van along that same wire and comes back over here. Now, I don't have to double back because the neat thing about this wire is that it's connected. So you've got negative and positive. As long as you have that positive running across all those lights and then have that negative come back, um, you have a complete circuit. 
This right here, for our model's purpose, this is the Goal Zero solar generator. This is a little button switch that I bought. Um, it just turns on and off. And then this is my dimmer by Z Trades. It's not that cool. <laughs> it's not like it does anything flashy or it just gets the job done and that's what I need. So I'll probably install this like on the inside of one of the cabinets. So as you can see here, we've got red, red, the switch just breaks up the positive. Positive goes into positive, negative goes into negative. So these two feed into the dimmer and then the dimmer goes straight to the light source. So if I come over here and I hit on, now that we have that on, I should be able to turn this slowly. We should get light. Hey. And then if I turn it all the way up, it gets super bright. Dramatic. Let me turn it back down. This is my conduit hose. I fit that up through here, the wall. It goes all the way up through the wall. You can see it here. And then it feeds back and then comes back. It goes, 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 goes comes down back over here, pops out over here, and then that's where it ends. So all in all, we'll have two lights, one, two, three, four, ceiling fan, and then LEDs. there's a situation I'm not sure if they're closing the shop for the semester or if it's just for today or what but there was talk of maybe closing everything and now I'm just a little scared because if that happens then I'm out both wood and power tools looks like I'll be living in a moon van for the entire summer <laughs>